Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm talking about top 5 things I love about the Moon Watch. Recently I got one, so I'm doing this series. I want to talk to you about the Moon Watch. But number one is absolutely the story. The good story sells everything. And the Omega Moon Watch has one of the best stories in the watch world. And you know that the good story sells everything. You know that Decor Monaco, Bonium and Daytona, lots of watches good stories everything and this one has it and you know all about it it went to space it got selected among lots of other watches among daytona breitlings i don't know lots of watches it won it got nasa certified went to the moon uh, one small step for man you know the story it actually helped them safely return in Apollo 14, I think, mission. It helped this chronograph, helped them to time the burnouts. So they safely returned to the home. So it has a story. And uh, I think this is what sells it. The fact that they downgraded the movement from 321 caliber to 861 to 1861. Uh, and it still sells so many limited editions so many versions variations and it still sells it's a good story and i absolutely love the story of the moon watch and that's one of the reasons i got it so number two on this list has uh, proportions and the uh, overall look of the watch so it looks great on a small wrist on a big wrist the guy i got this one from has a small wrist and it looked equally as good and handsome like on my wrist. You wanna get an Archie? So yeah, it's 42, it has 20 mil lugs, has a hazelite crystal, doesn't sit too high on the wrist because it's a manual wind movement and uh, looks great on any bracelet, on any leather band, uh, looks better on leather bands than on bracelets, but just looks great and uh, it's perfectly balanced on my wrist and uh, everything just works. The third thing I love about this watch, it has that dual watch appeal. So I, I personally, lots of you like dual watches. I personally like more dressier watches, something classy, sophisticated, Calatrava, Reverso, Piaget, and things like that. However, uh, every man rooted deep inside, you have that something of a Bob the Builder. I can fix it, I can build it. Uh, it feels you like a man. And this watch, when you look at it, there's nothing luxury about it. It's all purpose. It's, it's all purposely built to be a tool, to, to go to space. I wanted to be astronaut when I was a little. I bet you did too, but this watch has the ability to be a great tool to time everything. When you go to the races, to the street races, to drag races, you want to use this. And I do love good luxury, nice dressy watch, even gold watch. But this one has that appeal of the tool watch. And I like it because it's manly, it's toolish. There's nothing dressy about it. And at the same time, it's a luxury watch. It has a great movement and a great story. So the tool appeal is real with this one. Number four, this watch I absolutely love is the movement. And I hate the movement. I hate that it has a plastic chronograph break, but I still love it. Uh, I opened it up the first time I got it. I wanted to see it. From up close and personal 1861 Lemania based movement manual wound chronograph caliber I think the movement looks better than the face of the watch I'm a movement guy and I love it it's not even decorated the movement but I still love it and ever since I got into watches I loved chronographs a lot and this one is no exception I had a lots of chronographs from products to I don't know, Andorans, 72, Excel Zero Park, Calibers. I had a lot of them. And I do love chronographs. And it's a manual wound moment. I love good manual wound watch. And uh, 
it's not a hassle. I actually enjoy it to wind this watch every morning. I get up, I wound it, and even the mornings you forget, you can. It will not stop because it has a two-day power reserve, forty-eight hours power reserve. So you're good, and uh, the, it's a thinner watch. And uh, you know when you open the watch, uh, it has pieces of machinery there that's really mind-boggling to me. Uh, and that's what I love about it. And uh, I don't like the Speedmaster Automatic. Uh, it looks good, but the movement is nowhere close to this one. Automatic version has eight tape uh, with the Debois de Pra module, and it's really even nightmare to fix. It's a chronograph module sticked on a generic ETA, and that's all about the reduced. But this one has a proper. Uh, this is a proper movement and the movement that's uh, based for many higher end watches than Omega, of course, more decorated and everything. And it's a workhorse and a, one of the things I love the best about this watch. Number five is this watch is not that expensive. You get a great value for money. So hear me out. Uh, you can get a lot of watches, but on a pre-owned market for around 3000 you get a really... Hey, everyone is going to recommend you. You want a chronograph? Get a moon on the watch. Man on the moon. You want an entry-level luxury watch? Get a moon watch. You get an enormous value for money. Uh, you, what you can get? You can get a Tudor. You can get a Tudor Black Bay. Uh, with all the ETA moments or the newer one, which is basically the same, it's nothing specially horological, uh, you get an enormous value uh, for money for this watch. It's not that expensive when you see what you get, and this watch is a staple in many collections. It's a, it's a main piece, it can be a main piece in your collection, and you, you can proud, take pride in your collection. It can be a there i see on higher end watches like patex uh you will see this watch in those collections and uh it stands on its own and it's very respectable watch and a great first uh watch of a higher end i would not recommend this watch to be a great first luxury watch because it doesn't feel that it feels more like a tool watch the tool appeal is real but uh, it's a great watch if you're building collection for your collection. Great chronograph. And that's it. Done.